Well, hello my friends, here at the body shop, the Explorer mid-process of uh, putting the T-Rex grill on, and this has gone absolute nightmare, getting that whole front panel off was a lot more difficult than we anticipated and I'll show you after so what I'm not liking right now is this you see a lot of like, trash through the grill it's not attractive you see the horns you see the hood latch you just see all the black support through there I'm not a big fan of it right now so the guys are at lunch um, we're not sure exactly how we're going to proceed at this point it's do or die at this point because the factory grill has to be cut and I'll show you what I'm talking about so this is the back side of the factory grill here and this and the little lower section of grill and all the way down underneath this support it's all one piece it's all one piece of plastic so what we'd have to do is take this all apart and you have to cut the top portion of the grill away from these lower sections you know not really the option that I was looking for So hang on one second, I'm just going to pause. What I thought I might do is we remove the Ford logo, that huge wart that sticks out, just leaves kind of a nice flat oval behind. I may just do the Celine S logo there. It's not what I wanted, but it may be what we have to do. Uh, nothing is easy. I mean, this job, we're already solid two plus hours into it. Um, there is the Ford logo, the big wart. It kind of sticks out. I was trying to get rid of. So, I have an hour to decide what we're going to do here. This would look a lot better if there was something behind that grill, some like just a nice some mesh, something like that that would cover up all of that trash. So we'll see. We'll see what ends up happening. Stay tuned. I will let you know. As always, my friends. Thanks for watching. All right, my friends, so from the opening shot, you could probably tell which direction I went in. I did end up installing the T-Rex grill on the Celine Explorer Sport. We're here today from our lovely metal shop Dandelion Fields, because 
apparently that's all I can grow here, or dandelions, certainly can't go gra grow grass. Anyway, we ended up in installing the T-Rex grill, and it was a nightmare, as I stated. I'll get into that some more. Um, took us the better part of four hours, probably longer because I helped. <laughs> anyway, I think it looks great. I've been getting some, you know, mostly compliments on it. A couple of people have ex expressed their extreme dislike for it, but honestly, people like that have no vision, and they were like, oh, I can't believe you want to get rid of that stock grill. And that's exactly what sold me on it was when I was hemming back and forth when I was contemplating it you know from the opening shot when I was really distraught there in the body shop when I realized that this was not going to be easy that we're gonna to have to cut apart my factory grill what made the decision for me is I realized that I didn't want to look like everyone else I don't want to look like every other Explorer on the road and I ran into you know a magnetic gray Explorer Sport at my local gas station just the other day and you know I want to stand out and that's what turned the tide for me so anyway I think it looks great and you'll see I mean it looks the logo it looks like it's ever so slightly angled but the grill if you think of it is actually shaped like a smile so I think that looks a little bit better with that tiny little bit of an angle than to be perfectly perfectly flat I can always move it I have good quality 3M automotive adhesive I could just peel that off and restick it on so I wanted to go into the actual installation of a T-Rex grill. Um, again, it's going to be an overview. You saw it with it removed, but you start here with removal of these screws here. Some of them go through the structure, other, others of them are just captured nuts. Um, so you have to remove all of these. And then on the underside here, on the lower side, there's only three bolts that hold this structure, this entire fascia panel, um, to the car itself. Uh, the problems arise, not problems, but the difficulty is over here in the wheel well. So this trim here, you don't have to remove it all the way, and you can still see it's still dirty from, from all the work we did yesterday. Tons of fingerprints on it, and of course it rained. So again, as usual, I apologize for the filthiness of my vehicle. I promise I'm going to wash it. So you have to pull this away from here to here because it's clipped to this front fascia. It has to be pulled away. There's also a row of, you see all those screws in there? One, two, three, four. And there's a couple more up here. In holding the, the splash shield to this structure, those all have to be removed obviously on both sides. What that allows you to do is you can pull back, take the wheels off of course, both, both front wheels need to come off for access. But what that allows you to do is peel back the splash, you don't have to remove it, but you can peel it back enough and get to the three bolts here. There are three bolts here. The instructions are okay, they go over that. Um, the problem that we had is it's really tight quarters up in here, especially when you're pulling that splash shield out of the way. And you know, credit to Ford, um, all, of these, all of their larger fasteners, they have blue Loctite on. So it took a, a good amount of torque to get those bolts off where since you're in such cramped quarters, a lot of torque wasn't really available to you, but we did it, we got it off. Uh, and then the entire fascia will come off as an assembly, and that's when you need a couple of guys. You really need, someone's unbolting it and another person's there to catch it, because when it's completely unbolted, it falls off. It just falls right off. Um, and luckily, you, there's one plug over here on the driver's side for everything. Um, for all of the radar sensors, the air temperature sensor, which is telling you your ambient temperature, out the exterior temperature, your fog lights, your headlights, everything, it's all one harness, so that's nice. You only have to unplug one harness, not, I figured there's going to be a whole bunch of them, but not, uh, not the case. You'll see, you saw in the opening video that we taped up this joint, and that's not really so much for removal, because like I said, it comes, it comes right off, but for reinstallation, you're kind of banging back and forth, banging back and forth uh, when you're putting that back on. So you definitely want tape on that joint, nice and flat here. Then when this is off, you can fold the tape up under. So when you cut, put it back on, you're not scratching up your your nice paint. And you want a nice surface. They tell you to have a nice soft blanket, something to lay it on to work on. Um, good advice. So you, if you see in here, and I showed this yesterday, this piece here, this center grill, and the upper grill, the stock upper grill, are actually one piece. They snap into place with tons of tons of one-way clips. So, it, to commit to this, this grill wasn't actually meant for 
the Explorer Sport. It's made, you know, it fits the opening. The opening's the same since 2011, and it's going to stay un stay unchanged till they make a, you know, a, a revision in two for 2018. So it, it fits, but you have to. It's quite a bit more modification than the directions tell you because other Explorers don't have the center opening. They don't have anything here. They just have a flat bumper. Um, so you remove all of the all of the one-way clips and pull out. There's a, some structure behind it too, you know, they have a, pe a piece that has to come out for structure. So you remove this whole thing as one assembly and it has to be cut. And I wanted to show you in here. Here, if you can see this little bit here, there's an edge that starts here and it goes right all the way over to there like a smile. We, we had to leave that in place because it provides support for this part of uh, the bumper cover. Um, so the instructions don't go over that because again, it's not made for a sport. I didn't tell my friends at the body shop that you know we were kind of the, the test dummies, the guinea pigs for this. Um, because I wanted it to go on my car, and if I told them that, that we were going to, you know, have to be the, the prototype guys, I, they probably wouldn't have done it. So, anyway, here is the other section of the grill, and I should point out that if you're like me and you don't like the big Ford wart, you can remove it. Um, and all you have to do is take that beauty panel, that, that radiator cover off that top row of bolts, and you can reach right behind here, and that is just held in place with three one-way clips. You could probably get it, you're gonna need a screwdriver to, to release those clips. Uh, you can re then you can remove the Ford emblem and what it leaves behind is a nice flat oval. So you could still put, you know, a nice Ford emblem, you know, black and gray, black and silver, black and yellow, you know, whatever color that you wanted, but it doesn't stick out like such a wart. Um, and I would recommend, it's got, it's a flat plastic panel, but it's full of holes, so you would need some kind of a structure um, adhered to that, you know, a piece of, um, piece of aluminum, a, a piece of plastic, something like that. But anyway, here you can see the cuts that we made, and this was, my friend was kind of gung-ho, the guy that owns the body shop. Um, he didn't really need to cut this much, but this grill is, I mean, it's rendered junk. I mean, I'll probably hang it on the wall. Um, so anyway, so you can see where it had to be cut, you know, here and all these little tabs here had to be cut away from that lower section of grill. And just to throw a good scare into us, to try and get ahead of it, we got on the computer and we looked at... Um, you know, some type of body shop uh, website that, sh you know, for ordering parts because we wanted to see a picture of what we were dealing with. And they wanted to throw that in there, that a replacement grill, this upper section and lower section for an Explorer Sport, a 2017 Explorer Sport, is $719. So there's a good amount of pucker factor there in cutting up my $720 grill. But in the end, like I said, I chose to make the plunge. So he cut it out here and then you had to I mean, he sanded down the little nubs to make them perfectly flat. I want you to see in there, um, it actually made it nice. So this grill is bolted to the structure. It's not actually bolted to, we didn't have to drill through the paint. Um, we drilled through this structure. So if I decided to go that route and put the $719 stock grill back on, I'd have to buy another one, but I could. And there's, there's we've done no, nothing permanent to the bumper cover itself. Um, I should note it is touching over here a little bit, um, and that's that's us w w the way we lined it. But guess what? It doesn't matter because this is all one. The headlights, the grill, everything is all one assembly. So in theory, it's not going to move independently. The grill won't move independently from the headlights, so it shouldn't be an issue. I'll keep an eye on it. But as I said yesterday, one thing that I have a concern. I don't know if you'll even be able to see it here. We got to get down low. I'll try and come in tight. Is you can see what I call a lot of trash through there. Um, you can see just some support, which is just kind of ugly, almost a black kind of a carbon fibery looking stuff. You can see the horns. You can see the hood latch, and I don't care for that. So what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to get some kind of um, diamond grill, uh, you know, steel or aluminum grill material, and I'm going to actually mount it behind it just to just to black it out a little bit better. Uh, something like that we have on the Celine here. Hold on one second. Let's let's just pause. So this is the type of material that I'm going to put behind behind that grill just to black it out. So I'm going to use some of that Celine style, that same style. I'm going to get some of that diamond plate, paint it black, have it powder coated black, something. I'm going to do this the grill shape. And I'm also going to come up here and get this area. Um, I mean, right now it's kind of funny, you know, birds and small animals could fit through that grill is the joke. And the, uh, the air intake is right there. So, but overall, um, I would, they, you know, the instructions recommend having a professional body shop do it. I would absolutely uh, encourage that, strongly recommend it. I, I had to have them do it. Someone who has experience with something like this, I mean, you have to body saw those two grills apart. Someone with experience with all these clips, um, taking these bumper fascias off. If you had to do this yourself, uh, you're going you're gonna to break stuff and it's going to get expensive. So... Anyway, I hope uh, you've enjoyed this journey. I think it looks great. I'm gonna shut the hood. So you get, sorry for the wind. I know it's windy. It's gonna be wind, you're gonna hear it. Um, but uh, yeah, so there's the money shot of the grill. I'm interested in your opinions. A good friend of mine, uh, she told me, I asked her what she thought. Oh, there's uh, my shop assistant. A good friend of mine, I asked her what she thought about it, and she said, I think it looks great. She said, why do you care what other people think? Good advice. Good advice. So as always, my friends, thanks for watching. If you are new to my channel, uh, you know, please uh, consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up. Shout out to, what's your new username there, bud? I, I can't change it. He doesn't have one? So, yeah, my son's channel, if you'd like to give that a look, is Damn I'm Fat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Irony yeah. at its finest, says the skinny kid who weighs 55 pounds. Damn, I'm fat. So yeah, check out my, uh, my son's YouTube it's channel. Exactly All right, my friends. Take care out there. Again, thanks for watching. Subscribe and like.